Hey guys, guess what? It's time for Beauty Empties, and we are going to take a nose dive through my, um, my trash here. So this is what I collect my trash in. It's just a little lined container that I found at TJ Maxx at some point last year. I really hope I'm not cutting my head off with the camera. That might be the case. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got some stuff in here. I got a lot of stuff in here. I did really good this month with finishing things. So I'm going to dive in, tell you guys my thoughts on these products, whether I would repurchase or not. And below in the description box, I'm going to link to all of my like holy grail favorites. So check down there. Um, we're going to start with the Macadamia Professionals Weightless Moisture Shampoo, and this is obviously a liter size here, and I like it. I like this a lot. I am currently using the moisturizing formulation of this, and I like that too. I actually think that I might prefer the moisturizing one even more, but this is really lightweight, so if you have fine hair like me, this is probably the better option to be completely honest. Um, but it's great. It smells like a million bucks and makes my hair feel ama feels amazing. Makes my hair feel amazing and soft. I don't I'm having the worst time with recording today, you guys. Like this is my third video that I'm doing and I think I'm just done talking. <laughs> Except I still have more things I want to do, so I'm just like forcing it. Anyway, I love that. Love it. Blonde sexy hair um chamomile, honey and quinoa purple shampoo. This is a violet toning shampoo from Big Sexy Hair. You know, I thought this was okay. I, I think this is probably better for blonde hair than it is for gray hair. I use quite a bit of purple shampoo and conditioner. I feel like I'm going to fall backwards. I use quite a bit and I'm really picky about it. And I think that this is a good product. It's not overly drying, but it just it doesn't make my hair silver enough. But what I do think this is probably good for is blonde hair that has some brassiness issues in it and you can see it's fairly pigmented but it's just not pigmented enough for me I do remember this smelling really good so give it a try if you're blonde more toning stuff <laughs> this one I love you guys know I love this this is a holy grail this is the Nysant um, Azul Plata Tone Correcting Mask this is a very pigmented purple conditioner essentially and I love it and I will always repurchase this. I do love the Pravana one just as much and that's readily available at Ulta. This I have to get off of Amazon which isn't bad because I use my sister-in-law's um what do you call that Amazon Prime account so thanks Gretchen. <laughs> anyway uh love that. Uh Sea Booth Clean Vanilla Bean Bath and Body Wash. I really love this stuff. One, it's a great dupe for the, what is that? The Aqualina Pink Sugar Perfume. It smells just like that, but in a body wash version. I actually like this so much that I got this for one of my nieces over the holidays. And um, I'll have to ask her the next time I see her what she thinks of it. But I really love this stuff. I think it's hydrating. I think it's a great body wash. It's actually pretty affordable. It's definitely under $10. I think it's like somewhere in the seven eight dollar range if I remember correctly and then obviously Ulta always has sales and they have the Ulta coupon so I really like this this I think has become a holy grail product for me I've purchased it a couple times now and um yeah it's it's fantastic it smells good feels good not drying good stuff this was part of a gift that I received from a bride at some point last year unfortunately I'm an ass and I don't remember which bride gave this to me but she gave me a bunch of philosophy stuff and this is the fresh cream body lotion this smells really good it, it smells just like fresh cream yeah this smells good I like this the best out of all the fresh cream products I think um and it's just it's a good basic hydrating body lotion so yeah it's good it's I mean, it's not like holy grail or anything but it, it does smell really good actually here Ah, something else that came with that little gift pack from her. Uh, body polishing scrub. This was really nice too. I would say in order of what did I like? I didn't like the body wash. I thought that smelled funky, but this smelled good. Um, I think I like the body lotion, then the scrub in terms of order of preference. Yeah. Definitely has that fresh cream scent. It's good. It's good. 
stuff. Liked it. Smelled good. This. I really like this. <laughs> I'm going to link this down below for you guys. It's the Deep Steep Foaming Hand Wash. This is the Scent Frig Apricot. But um, they have lots of different types of scents. This one just smells really good. And um, you can actually find refills for these on Vitacost. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this because I'm going to refill it. I'm going to buy the refill instead of more of those. But I think I might try a different scent next time. But that's really good. Love that hand wash. It's not overly drying. It's quite lovely. <coughs> Pardon me. Caviar Moisture Replenishing. Okay, stop. Caviar Replenishing Moisture Milk. There we go. I'm, I shouldn't make up words. This is a leave-in conditioner from Alterna. I love this. I love this stuff. And I already have a backup of it. This is the Holy Grail. I used to get the 10-in-1 the Complete Correction Cream, that one. And um, this is very similar, and it's a little bit less expensive, and you get a little bit more, if that makes sense. So I've been using this, and I, I like it just as much, so I'll probably be sticking with that. I finished the Arbonne FC5 Exfoliating New Cell Scrub. I did really enjoy this. This is kind of on the spendier end of the facial scrub spectrum. Don't know that I would repurchase this necessarily, I really like the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub, which is um, like less than $10. And this is, I think, $35 if I remember correctly. So, hmm, it's good. And it's great, especially if you like vegan stuff, because Arbonne is all vegan and cruelty-free. And they're, they're a really great line. They really are. Um, but it's a more expensive line. So if you're on a budget, I don't know that this is, would be really budget-friendly for you. But it's a good product. This I'm just tossing because, oh my gosh, I sprayed it on myself the other day and I was like, I stink. Uh, this turned, and you can tell it's a really dark color. This used to actually be clear. This is just a body spray from Victoria's Secret from probably eight years ago. It was when they had the Cashmere Vanilla Jasmine line. Do you guys remember that? How long ago was that? I'm pretty sure it was like either late 20s or early 30s when I bought this. So, and I'm 38 now, so that had to go. Um, I'm tossing this. This is a terrible, terrible deodorant. This is the Sebamed Balsam deodorant. I used this a few times and I'm, I was trying to get into natural deodorants, but that just doesn't work for me. I need an antiperspirant. Um, I don't consider myself super stinky, but I just, I can't do this natural stuff, you guys. Oh, and this smells like, it smells like balsam. Balsam and soap. Like if you were to go out in the woods and find like a really nice balsam tree and then just rub a bunch of like ivory soap all over it and whatever that smell was when you did that, like that's what that smells like. How's that for a visual? Uh, Paula's Choice Resist 2% uh, BHA. This is the Daily Pore Refining Treatment. Love this. Just purchased more. It's a holy girl. <laughs> I love BHA. Keeps my pores clean. Keeps me from getting blackheads, breakouts, smooths my skin. It's magic. Magic in a bottle. Worth every penny. Um, okay. Let's talk about some skincare that I'm getting rid of for kind of a specific reason. Uh, okay. So these are Asterwood Naturals products. And honestly, most of them I am more than halfway done with. This one a little bit, it's a little bit above the halfway point, but I have the vitamin C serum, the Argireline and vitamin C serum, the Matrixyl 3000 plus vitamin C, and the Matrixyl Argireline and vitamin C serum. So you might notice that the common denominator with all these is vitamin C serum. Um, so vitamin C serum goes bad pretty quickly. I have a tendency to, if I have a vitamin C serum more than four months and I'm not finished with it, I'll usually end up to tossing it. Really, truly, this is not the most ideal packaging for vitamin C serum because it does degrade pretty quickly. The good thing is that it's in a dark glass bottle, um, but there's still air getting to it. So over time, the more that you open these bottles, the more that you use them, um, the faster they degrade. So I really like these products. In fact, I'm now on to using like these, like the Matrixel 3000 by itself. Um, I'm on to using that. 
and then mixing another vitamin C serum that I just opened into that. So the only reason I'm getting rid of these is because these all contain the vitamin C. So I'm pretty sure the vitamin C is no good at this point because I've had these for many months at this point. So they are really inexpensive. I will purchase from Asterwood Naturals again because I like this line, but um, if I do do it, I don't know that I would get the products with the vitamin C in them because again, not the most ideal packaging for vitamin C, but it's a good line. I still like it. I know a lot of you guys question me about that all the time. I do still really like the line. Okay, I finished this. This is the Nude Skincare Advanced Renewal Serum. I actually do have a backup of this. This is a wonderful serum. I've been using this and I, I haven't mentioned it in any of my like skincare updates because I've just been using it for so long that um, I just don't think to share it with you guys, but I really like this stuff. Nude Skincare used to be sold at Sephora, but now they are not. I don't know where they're sold now, but this is one product that I've really enjoyed from them. This is basically just a nice hydrating serum that plumped my skin. It's very moisturizing, didn't clog my pores, lightweight, lovely product. Um, I really like the Nude Skincare line. I think it's a beautiful line, and I'm glad to have finally used that up. Um, skincare. Um, finished another one of my Resist 10% Nice and my Boosters. I love this stuff. I go through it way faster than I think any human probably should, but I use it almost every single day. Almost every single day. Um, the only days that I don't are when I'm using a vitamin C product that is not from Paula's Choice. So the Paula's Choice vitamin C products are meant to be used in conjunction with niacinamide, but niacinamide can cancel out other types of vitamin C that isn't formulated properly. So um, those are the only days where I'm not using this. This has shrunk my pores, you guys. This is holy grail. I love this stuff. I live for it. I will never not have it. Ever. And if you're going to suggest the one from The Ordinary because you're new <laughs> and you haven't heard my story about it, that sucks. I don't like that product. It made me break out and it was weird in its consistency. This is basically like water. It sinks into my skin instantly and I've never had a reaction to it. So I swear by this, I'd rather spend the money and not break out. So love that. I'm very emphatic about that. Sorry. I know some people like hate me when I say that, but mm, I don't know. It just, it just didn't work. This works. I love this. Uh, resist skin revealing body lotion sample from Paula's Choice. I actually had several of these, but I only kept one because I was like, I can't have like 10 of these in my garbage here. So this is a body exfoliant. It's basically a lotion and it works really great with eczema because it re removes those scales that you can sometimes get with eczema. It's a great body lotion. It's not fancy. <laughs> this is not fragranced and it doesn't have shimmer in it. It doesn't make your skin look like a million bucks, but works great on eczema. So if that's an issue that you have, this might be worth checking out, especially if you're, if you have the type of eczema where you get those like scaly patches and you need help in removing them, the 10% AHA helps in that removal and doesn't irritate the eczema. This is a lash growth serum I'm just getting rid of because I don't like it. It's the Longer Lash by Green Aesthetics. Um, burns my eyeballs. I don't like that. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to dump this out. There we go. Perfect. Um, things that I am finished with. These two mascaras, the Gosh Boombastic XXL Volume Mascara. I like this. This is available in Canada at Shoppers Drug Mart for all you lucky people. Plastic bristle brush um, started to flake, so I knew it was done. So thank you for your service. Really like that one. Good volumizer. Also finished the TARDIS Lash Paint. <laughs> really like this one. Again, plastic bristle brush. I knew it was done because it started to flake on me. So thank you for your service. Um, now on to things. Oh, also finished a lip balm. This is the Badger Ginger and Lemon. This used to live in my gym bag and I finally finished it. Um, this Badger line is very nice. It's all organic, USD organic, and they have some fun scents. There's also other things in this Badger line, but um, this one, it definitely smelled good. It smelled really good. It's kind of gross from being in my gym bag, but love that. Okay. 
Oh, and I have another one. <laughs> this one was in my purse. This is just the Tangerine Breeze. Yeah, that one smells good too. There's a little bit left in this one, but honestly, <laughs> Stella was using it and she was using it when she was pretty sick. So after she was done with it, I was like, I think mama's just gonna toss this one because she was like sick a few weeks ago. Um, so there wasn't much left. I mean, there's like the tiniest little nub here. So I don't feel bad tossing this, but this is a good lip balm. Safe for kids, all that jazz. This I'm throwing away. Now I'm gonna show you some things that were part of my purge that I forgot to put in the purge videos that I did earlier this month. The Ofra uh, Eye Gel Primer. I just don't think this was a good primer at all. Um, also, it's like separated and kind of chunky now, so ugh, this went bad, so bye. And then I have a blush. I'm getting rid of this peach blush here from NYX. I do have one more backup of this, but it's obviously broken. And every time I go to get blush out of my blush drawer, this will pop open and it has crumbled a little bit and it just makes a mess in there. So could I depot it? Yeah, but I'm, I'm not a depotter, you guys. I don't I don't want to have to take the time to do that. I don't want to have to go buy a bunch of Z palettes. Um, yeah, when things like this happen, especially with cheaper blushes like this, I don't feel bad tossing it. I've got a good amount of use out of this anyway, so there you go. And then th a few liners I'm getting rid of. Um, Urban Decay Zero. That's dried up. The Smashbox Double, sorry, yeah. Smashbox Eye Beam Double Ended Brightener. So this was a dual ended thing. These are hard and I'm not getting any like color payoff from this anymore. So um, these are just, I've had it for like five years at least. So I, I'm not surprised. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Hip Studio Secrets Intense Eyeliner. Do you guys remember the hip line from L'Oreal? That was a while ago. So this is pretty old. It has started to pull away from the sides here and I just, I'm not using this. I actually have two of those, so. And then the Sephora Jumbo Liner in black. I just am not reaching for this at all. And this is a very intense black. Um, I used to use this as an eyeliner, but I just don't really wear black liner anymore. If I do black, it has to be with a shadow so that it's a little bit more diffused looking. Dang, these are pigmented. If you're if you're not cruelty free and you're looking for um, a really good jumbo liner, these Sephora liners are pretty long wearing. They're crazy pigmented. Um, and they're waterproof, so they last a really long time. So if that's if you're into that kind of stuff and you're not picky about cruelty free, these definitely work really well. And that's it. Those are my empties for the month. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Again, I'll link my holy grails down below. And let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye.